Welcome to the Craftessa, everyone. My name is Vanessa, and for today's DIY, we're going to make these adorable, spooky, yet adorable ghost coasters. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok, where I post super quick and easy videos, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to hit the little bell to get notified when I post new videos. Now let's get on with today's project. So for this project, I'm going to use these ghost prints that I got on Etsy from Wall Artisan along with wooden coasters that you can get from Plaid Crafts. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut the images so they fit the wood squares. I had measured the wood squares, they're about a four by four, so I printed the images um, into a four by four size. This way I don't have much excess on the sides. So let's continue with this. So now that I have the images cut, the next step is going to be to use Mod Podge Photo Transfer. Now, this is different from Mod Podge because this transfers the actual image onto whatever object you are using. Um, I could have used Mod Podge, but I actually want the image to be on the wood itself. Now, what you're going to do here is you're going to coat the image with a nice layer of the photo transfer. And the hardest part of this project is that you have to wait 24 hours for this to cure uh, in order to do the next step. So let's cover the image completely with a layer of the photo transfer. Then we're going to place it on the wood coasters and we're going to let that dry for 24 hours. So let's continue. Okay, so it's 24 hours later and we are ready for the next step. Now you're going to need water and a sponge. Um, I couldn't find a regular sponge, so I am using a magic eraser, works just the same. Um, just make sure that you squeeze it out a bit, you don't want that much water. Uh, and what you're going to do is you're going to take the sponge and you're going to place it on the image in order to wet the paper. Because the next step is going to be, we're going to use our fingers to rub off the paper. So let's finish coating this image with water, then we're going to start rubbing off the paper. So 
So now that I coated the top layer with water, I'm just going to use my finger in circular motions or up and down, and you can see that the paper is coming off and our image is on the wood itself. Now you're going to continue to do this uh, for a few minutes until you get all of that top layer off. You can use your finger or you can even use um, the sponge, but make sure that it's not that wet. Um, and you can go around the edges. So let's continue removing the top layer of our paper. So now that the image is showing through, I'm going to take a piece of sandpaper and I'm going to use it to remove the edges carefully. I don't want to ruin my image. I did leave a little bit extra on the edges just in case. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the sandpaper to rip off the excess. Let's finish. So now both of the coasters are done and I absolutely love so far the way that they look. The next step is I'm going to take some color shift paint by Folk Art and I'm going to paint the edges. Now this paint changes, doesn't change color, but it looks different shades depending on when the light hits it. I absolutely love this range of paint. Again, it's color shift by Folk Art and I'm just going to paint the edges. Uh, let's continue with this.
So now I painted the edges and they're dry. Now I'm going to do one more step and this step is optional if you like. I'm going to use Mod Podge Dimensional Magic in order to give it some shine. Uh, by the time that it's dry, it's going to look something like a faux resin look. Uh, this is not really the way you're supposed to use um, three-dimensional magic. You're supposed to actually just layer it completely uh, without brushing it, but I am going to brush it because one, I don't want to use too much, and two, I don't want it to have a full uh, coating on it. So with a small brush, I'm going to go around and I'm going to spread out sort of evenly uh, the amount of three-dimensional magic that I just put on this image. So let's continue. So now that the Mod Podge three-dimensional magic is dry, you can see how it looks. It gives it a nice little shine and it also protects the image because if obviously you're going to put uh, coffee cups or any type of cup on it, it gives it a nice uh, faux resin look. I really love the way both of these turned out. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell to get notified when I post new videos. Thanks so much for watching everyone. See you all on my next DIY.